Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to prepare our spectral plots uh, in uh, Google Earth Engine. We are going to use uh, the training area data and uh, Sentinel 2 uh, imagery. Right, so first uh, I'm going to uh, search uh, the name of my test site. My test site is uh, Bulawayo. Um, is a city in Zimbabwe. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, test site, and then I'm going to add a marker here. Next, I want to add uh, the boundary of uh, the uh, test site. So I've already imported uh, the boundary uh, into the Earth Engine. So if you want to import, you can just come here to new and then uh, table upload then you can select your shape file but since we've already uh, i've already prepared i'm just going to upload it and then i'm going to change uh, the name to boundary right next i'm also going to uh, uh, add uh, or upload uh, the training areas data set which I created uh, in uh, QGIS. Right, uh, so my training area is called TA 2020 Blawayo uh, December. Okay, so let me add this one. And then I'm going to name uh, training areas. Right next, I've already prepared my script, so I will just say copy it. And then uh, paste it. Right, so this is our script. Okay, so uh, we can uh, now start to do the process. So first, uh, we uh, want to, to convert uh, the training areas which are in uh, polygons into a raster image. So here we are going to use uh, the reduced to image function. So it's taking the training areas here and uh, we are interested in the uh, column uh, which is a uh, class ID, okay? And then I'm going to rename it to class because we are interested in the land cover class. The next uh, we are going to load our Sentinel-2 uh, uh, image. Uh, this is a Sentinel-2 uh, surface reflectance data. So we are going to use uh, the image uh, collection function to load the Sentinel-2 uh, data. The next we are going to use uh, uh, the, the cloud mask function so that we max, max uh, out uh, cloud areas. Then uh, next year we are going to uh, filter as we explained in the previous videos. So here we are going to filter uh, according to date. And then uh, we have, uh, we will filter according to the uh, uh, cloud mask that we have created. And then we are going to select our necessary bands. So I've only selected these bands. Right, then uh, next we create uh, uh, the imagery. We are interested uh, in the mid median, median uh, image because uh, this is between uh, April and uh, June. Okay, so after that we clip the imagery. And then uh, we can print uh, the image uh, so that we can see the properties. Next, we can display uh, the imagery uh, and also the boundary and the, the training areas. Right after that, uh, we are going to add uh, the training areas image to the uh, post train uh, uh, season composite image that we've uh, created above. Right, and then here we're just going to define uh, the, the the bands which are going to appear on the x-axis of our graph and then this function this whole function 
is responsible for creating uh, the uh, chart right so this is all about the code in a simple term so let's just run uh, the whole code and see what happens right now it's generating the chart and it's quite fast as you can see so this is our image for the test site and then this is our plot okay showing the, the spectral reflectance of uh, the bands right uh, so uh, if you want you can uh, save your script so i will just save it as a, a spectral plots for low io Okay, so this is all about uh, uh, this tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe uh, uh, to my channel if you have not yet subscribed so that you can get a uh, notification uh, when there are uh, more tutorials. Uh, please take note also that uh, this uh, course is available at uh, IGEO uh, Geolabs. So please uh, also uh, you can uh, go there and then uh, uh, read about this course okay i'll see you in the next video bye